Hi, my name is Rick Eschenberg. And in 1979, two weeks after getting married, Marianne and I traveled east from Detroit to Gordon-Conwell to begin this seminary adventure. In 1983, I received a Master of Divinity, and from there we went to northern Vermont to accept a call to a three-point charge, the Franklin United Church, the Highgate United Methodist Church, and the East Franklin Union Church. And we began rural ministry. We began uh, in a context, a setting that we did not know growing up in suburban Detroit or living in South Hamilton. It was brand new for us, and we quickly realized and discovered um, that it resonated with our heartbeat. Um, we loved the people. We loved the setting. We loved the fact that you, you're, you're no less busy than suburban or urban areas, but some of the focus of your busyness is the direct care of people in your community. We loved the fact that we could lean into people's lives and, and share life with them in a setting where resources were a continual challenge. Uh, sometimes the state didn't pay as much attention to rural settings as it did to the larger and noisier um, urban and suburban areas. And so resources were often diminished. And so there was this um, kind of this, uh, this sense where you had to figure it out and with the people in your community, which was something that Gordon Conwell gave to me. As a diverse population in, at Gordon Conwell in, from 79 to 83, we were not the necessarily people that always agreed with each other or always thought the same way. And yet there was a sense that Christian community figured it out there. I remember a, a time in Dean Borgman's uh, Racism Confronts the Church class uh, back in 1981, where there was uh, an eruption. There was a collision uh, with what we would call today uh, systemic racism, uh, what we didn't understand under that term in that context or in that setting. And yet there we were in community figuring out how to navigate, how to um, do life, how to reconcile, how to restore. Uh, we actually got to practice that and that has served me well as I have been in various ministry contexts, in, in rural settings, in therapeutic settings, and now currently in a jail ministry setting. One story uh, that I'm really fond of from Gordon Conwell was the first time I met Dr. J. Christy Wilson. Uh, he didn't know me, I knew of him, uh, but we had never met, and I'm walking through the halls of the Kerr building, the administration building at that time, and, and there he was approaching me, and we stopped and said hello in the hallway, and he asked me by name, how are you, Rick, and how is Mary Ann? Well, we had never met, and I, I was um, kind of uh, stunned, open mouth, gaping, stunned, um, stuttering and stammering a response back to him, and it was only later that I discovered and realized that he had a discipline of moving through the picture directory, praying for us as students, praying for our families, praying for us by name as he looked at the, the pictures and the faces and remembered them. And then as he greeted us, um, he greeted us by name. That uh, is a discipline that I have practiced and maintained to this day where I move through our church directories, where I move through um, our communities and I pray by name, um, for people, for families, for spouses, for children. It, it's an amazing practice. It is an amazing discipline. And um, I learned it right there in the halls of the Kerr building. God bless you as you continue on in ministry. I look forward to sharing more with you, to celebrating with you the goodness of our God as he continues to redeem and restore and reconcile in, in keeping with his original intent. Uh, as we were created.